You've you know, helped ignite the food travel uh, journalism industry. I just wanted to ask you what you think the direction would be for the next you know, three to five years? Uh, of food travel journalism? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I hope and I, I think, I believe that what we're seeing is a lot of the snobbery and preciousness bleeding out of it. <laughs> and I think people are more, more eager than ever to look at food uh, the way Singaporeans, for instance, look at it. Meaning, the perfect bowl of noodles that yes. cost you $1.98 is just as valuable an experience as the hard to get reservation at a fine dining restaurant. I think that's the big change. Fantastic. We've seen an, you know, an increase in demand for sustainable and organic food. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think the, um, the way we can reduce costs are so that we can make it more available to the masses? We won't. Sustainable is something we're going to have to deal with as a society just to live. Uh, organic, that's another matter. Um, for the most part, the organics have already been swallowed up by the non-organic companies. So they get you at both ends. They sell you the crappy stuff for cheap, and if you, you're terrified enough of what might happen to you if you eat that, they're waiting for you in the other end with their <laughs> twice as expensive stuff. TV host, award-winning TV host, writer, chef, what's next for you? What's your mission going forward? I just want to keep getting away with what I'm getting away with, <laughs> as long as I can. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Anthony. Sure. Have a great evening. Good luck.